Hi, my name is Dr. Somjet j e m r a p o t I'm an orthopedic doctor practicing in Bangkok, Thailand. So, who should suspect a m e n i s c a l tissue tear? We have to divide it in two groups. First, is a patient who have a traumatic history, and second, who doesn't have a traumatic history. The first group of the patients mostly happen in a younger age group, like lower than 50 years old. They have an obvious traumatic history. They may report having a sudden knee pain after and during, like knee twisted, uh, have a uh, falling, or uh, any sudden pain for during playing sports, like playing badminton, tennis, or football. The second population, they may not have an obvious. Uh, knee pain, but reported having gradual onset of the knee pain. They don't have a, a, an obvious traumatic history because of the this uh, group of patients, the meniscal tissue tear mostly come from the degenerative process plus a minor trauma. So, if you suspect that you have meniscal tissue injury, what you should do? I do recommend you to seek a professional orthopedic doctor. They're gonna take a history and examine your knee. And if you are a first population, they're gonna take an X-ray to see that whether you have uh, any crack or fracture in the knee. Or if you are second age population, they're gonna see that you already have the osteoarthritis or not. But because of the X-ray, we cannot see the meniscal tissue. We cannot see other ligament and soft tissue like ACL ligament. We cannot see uh, other ligament. So if the doctor suspect about the soft tissue inside, suspect about the meniscal tissue tear, they're gonna send you to do an MRI. An MRI can give us an important image. They're gonna, uh, it can provide us where is the meniscal tissue tear, and what is the meniscal tissue tear configuration, and that is an important information guiding the doctor for the proper treatment. So before we talk about the treatment options, I would like to tell you about the meniscal tissue configuration and zone. As I mentioned at the beginning, that if we look the meniscus from the top, it looks like a 2C shape or a donut encircling the knee. However, if we cut the meniscus vertically, vertically. Mm -hmm. The meniscal tissue will look like a triangle shape on each side of the knee. The triangle, the triangle on each side of the knee, if we divide it into three zones: the outer zone, the outer one third zone, the middle one third zone, and the inner one third zone, and the inner of the knee, and at the at the outer of the knee. The outer one third zone is the zone that where is there is a lot of blood flow. The middle one third is a zone that there is moderate blood flow, and the inner one third is the zone that there is less blood flow to it. So, understanding this, guiding us for the treatment options. If our meniscal tissue is torn at the outer one third, there is a chance that it will heal by itself, meaning that there is a higher chance of treating with non-operative treatment. We gonna give you the knee brace and tell you about the activities or uh, any other position that you should avoid putting weight or injury on that meniscal zone. But if you injured in the middle or the inner one third zone, there is less chance that the meniscus will heal by itself. So the operative treatment options may be suggested. Nowadays, there is a technique we call a keyhole surgery or arthroscopy. We have uh, two skin cut, one centimeter each, and we put a suture to augment to suture the meniscal tissue tear to augment and increasing the healing potency. So, if you have any questions, please leave the comment below. Thank you.